don't really feel that connected to the arts community in Chicago or in Niles um, friendly, but it's still like, uh, it feels exclusive to me. It's more of like, I'm not at that level to be a part of the arts community in Chicago yet. Like, I don't feel like I'm at that level talent wise to be like acknowledged I've been trying to not confine myself, I'd say, or like define myself by certain titles, like such as dancer or stuff like that. Um, because I'm also interested in photography and like different uh, mediums of art, I usually just call myself an artist. But if someone were to ask specifically, I'd say that I'm a dancer. Um, my name is Imani Obergarner. I am originally from and born in Chicago, but I currently live in Niles, Illinois. My pronouns are she, her, hers, and my ethnicity is um, African-American and I'm also Filipino-American. I grew up in the suburbs. Um, I'm the youngest of five siblings. Um, I actually grew up living with my mom, dad, and my grandma and grandpa on my mom's side. So it was like pretty, pretty crowded, I'd say, in my house. Seven years, I was a cheerleader. Um, and then last October, I decided to retire from that and become a dancer. So I started to take um, ballet classes and then I found you and I took hip hop classes and contemporary classes from you. And I was fortunate enough to be in your Move Deeper program and um, yeah, from there on, it just went, and I'm still dancing now. We were talking about it, and she was like, no, you've never said that before. And I was like, yes, yes, I have. I always wanted to be a dancer. And she was like, really? I didn't know that. And, um, and then I forgot what, what was happening, but I signed up for classes. And that's kind of how it started. And... I really wasn't expecting to be where I'm at right now from that move. So I feel like I've always been pretty uh, anxious about like how how people are perceiving me. Like, am I doing too much? Like, what am I've I've been a people pleaser for a really long time. That's it, and it's it's really hard like putting a smile on my face. Like, it was exhausting, and. I, I really didn't know that until I um, did a little bit more like self-discovery during quarantine. Like I, I was really just putting myself through so much pain day by day, like going through my routine. I, I felt uh, extremely alone. Eighth grade and freshman year, it was a little bit more serious. And I, I do think it's, it, it's revolved around school and family. Um, school in the sense that I'm a bit of a perfectionist. So uh, it doesn't even have to be work. Like I know I can do this work. I'm capable of doing it, but I'm always um, paralyzed by it. Like there have been many times that throughout my high school, throughout high school that I just haven't gone to school because I knew there was a teacher I had to face that I haven't been doing work for, or there was a test that I had to do that I wasn't studying for, or, um, or I was just like going to classes that there wasn't an expectation before class, but I knew that something was gonna go on during that class that I wasn't, I felt I wasn't able to handle. And I would just stay home.